Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, please subscribe down below. Give this video a like because I'm going to show you my vanity slash makeup station slash where I get ready, where I film, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let's just get right in. My side of the room is kind of a mess because I have my whole filming station over here. And I figured it was important to show you this part because that's my computer. That's my... Uh, light stand and then there's my other light stand with my ring light on it um, this would be my like editing station here are all my palettes I like having them where I can see them and I know where they are I like being able to pick them out and being able to um, look right at them and I know which one is which just by looking like um, my Morphe they're a little bit taller so they're all in the back Urban Decay Profusion Juvia's Place BH Pure Colourpop Too Faced Tarte my other Morphe Anastasia Beverly Hills, W7 in the buff, um, Milk Cosmetics, and another Too Faced. I like how organized it is. I do prefer everything size coordinated. Um, it just makes me feel more relaxed about it. <laughs> it gives me less anxiety when everything's where I can see it and I know where it is. Then in this little thing right below it is just a bunch of junk mostly. Um, um, this needs to be organized. It was in a little box in my son's closet because we just moved a few months ago and everything kind of just got shoved together. And now that we're like fine tuning, um, I can actually go through it. But most of the hair products are in here so that my daughter doesn't waste them. So I have my Excedrin of course. Um, I have some breast pads in here because I've been breastfeeding for like the past year. And then I just have all my lotions, my facial hair remover, um, body mask, which I keep this in here because my daughter, if she gets into it in the bathtub, she'll have it everywhere. And then body mists, which I don't hardly ever use anymore just because I just don't. My hairspray. Um, this drawer is kind of falling apart, so I kind of put it together with duct tape and then left it. But it's just got my hair straightener, um, a headphone set for when my um, cordless one dies, some breast pump pieces, uh, make extra makeup sponges that I'll probably never use. Um, extra makeup bags if I were to go on a trip. Just kind of miscellaneous things. My ring light. Anyway, this is called Paris Cafe and it smells amazing. It smells just like the perfect coffee house. Like, if you have ever gone into a uh, coffee shop that fixes like fresh coffee, that's exactly what it smells like. Um, just some lotion I got on clearance, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. That, which I haven't decided what to do with, it's just a little basket, and um, I'm hiding it with my lotion just because I haven't decided. I think if I were to find some kind of um, gold or rose gold, because I love rose gold, and paint like all the white pieces that I have, that'd be really pretty. I would like to paint this desk also, like a pretty white but we'll see. All my setting sprays. Um, this is the only one I really use to set. These are more like facial mists that I just, they make your face feel so hydrated and amazing. Contact solution because I'm constantly having to change my solution. My eyes dry out so fast. Um,
and then we have my brushes my my brush cups these are like just Walmart crafts brushes but I realized like the really small ones if I can get it out like these are perfect for the essence liner that I have so much trouble with so I now keep this set in here in case I need it and then of course box openers for when I'm doing unboxings because that's nice um, dry erase markers because I like to write my ideas on my mirror sometimes it helps me remember what I'm talking about little fake wand that I made for my son's baby shower uh, tweezers because I have hair to pull off and then these long things I actually got from the hospital when I worked as a CNA I just kind of took an extra pack home on accident and had like scissors in it too it's like for a suture kit or something but um, I use them to hold my lashes on like that and they actually work pretty good because they're super long and they have that long tip on them nail clippers like I said everything's kind of like a mess right now from moving and just not having everything organized so I have both my son and my daughter's umbilical cord <laughs> and then um, one of the first little things that me and my husband ever did together was squirrel hunt so I have a squirrel tail from the first time we ever went squirrel hunting together and I know that's gonna freak people up out now but they know what that is <laughs> but yeah I have that and that one and then these are all my face brushes these are all the brushes that I use on my face this brush I just got this is the brush I always use for highlight the new brush that I got for um, from BoxyCharm and I actually been loving to use for my contour and these Disney cups I actually got from my grandmother I don't know if you can see them but I think they're such a fun like they're too tall for for us for the house we don't really me and my husband are the only ones that use like the big glass cups and um, we actually prefer to use plastic because if my daughter is to grab one of our cups we'd rather her not have glass and it break um, then my concealers you can obviously tell which ones are my favorites so when I recommend something to you I'm not I'm definitely not lying when I say I like something um, <clears throat> like they're they're clear which ones I definitely use um, more than others this cup I got for Christmas and it's super cute and again I didn't want it getting broken so I just have it up here Harry Potter mug um, these are lip liners or lipsticks that are um, like dense enough I don't know if that's the right word for it hard enough to be used as lip liners so I put them in here so I can use them as lip liners but I don't generally use lip liners that much so they just kind of sit here most of the time I'm just not a big lip lining person um, but these are super cute these I got this from Jeffree Star uh, in the mystery box and he actually had they're like little stickers that they put to tell you what the name of the color is and he had them up here so I took them off and I took it off and put it down here and then taped it on so that way you could see it and when you since they're not mechanical they're um, like you have to sharpen it you won't run into the sticker so I, I like the the whole like design of it I just move the sticker so that it will stay on there longer and this is just a little candle holder I've probably had for 15 years I don't even know where I got it from um, this was my husband's mug from his grandmother I think but it's kind of just sat in our room because he doesn't want to use it um, like he doesn't want to tear it up so I put my liners in here and like you know 
It just house, houses liners now. It's not being mistreated or anything. And it says, just wears that damn fairy godmother when you need her. Yeah, that's it. Put down my eyeliners. And then Grumpy over here is holding all my eye brushes. <laughs> this was actually from my daughter's fish tank. I cleaned all the rocks and then um, put them in the bottom of here because I thought it was a nice pop of color. And um, brings my brushes up a little higher because, like I said, these are super deep cups. And my brushes actually sit down like right here in, in it without them. So I think that makes it look nice and I can reach everything. This brush is really hairy right now. I'm going to keep my hair products in here along with some short brushes that like wouldn't fit in the other one or they would fit but they'd fall down so far that I wouldn't be able to use them so I, I mean I don't use them anyway but they sit in there in case these were used to cut lashes I don't know if you can see that um I got them from the hospital with the um tweezer set I have two pair, I guess, but yeah, I, I use them to cut eyelashes and sometimes my eyebrows. You can clearly tell, but um, I let them sit in here where I can get to them. And little Miss Tinkerbell here, and then a little lighter for my candle. And generally, I like to keep the desk area fairly clean, but like. This SD card needs to be downloaded onto my computer, so I will leave that out where I can see it. Hopefully I get to it before my daughter does, or it'll end up missing for like a week or two. Down here isn't really anything. Um, like I said, I like to keep my desk fairly clean, so I'll put my glasses down here out of the way. Um, my charger, the cap to my candle, it all sits down here out of the way. But like I said, fairly clean, you know, sometimes makeup gets on it because if I'm not filming and I'm just in a rush to do my makeup, I will sit this way and do my makeup. And then we have this whole tower over here. These are, um, like this is a knickknack from my great grandmother that passed away when I was like seven-ish maybe. She got this as a birthday present for me. It's just a, um paperweight but it means something to me so it sits up there um my birthday is october 24th so this is a little um angel an october angel i don't know it's it's kind of rubbed off so it's hard to tell but it's just a little october angel um this is actually how i used to film with these things just hook them onto the mirror like that and then hold my phone in the little clips and that's how I uh, filmed my first like 30 videos so <laughs> I keep those in case I have to f hold a note on the mirror or something um, of importance um, and then I have a lot of my lipsticks um, there's no I don't discriminate towards any lipsticks by brand or anything it's just this is what fit here. Um, these are all purple lipsticks in no particular order. Um, like there's a bobby brown on the end, but it has nothing to do with order. It's just I had more of the Maybelline lipsticks, so they're lined up together first. And then these are all red lipsticks. Um, again, in no particular order. Just there. These are all pink are these pink lipsticks? These are like nude lipsticks and this red one was just extra I think so it got placed on the end but nude lipsticks again in no particular order because I have YSL and um I think this is Laura Mercier yeah uh, and a bite one but they're I mean you can't even tell that they're there honestly you can see the drugstore ones better it's just that's what order they were put in. Uh, more pink. These are more bright pink. Still in no particular order. I have Jeffree Star, Urban Decay, um, Marc Jacobs. No particular order. I don't 
discriminate towards anything. Um, and then in the front row, these all have circle holes, so I put all the liquid lips I have in those, or most of the liquid lips I have in those. Um, again, no particular order. These are all Wish, so they were only a dollar. And then these ones are Jeffree Star that I got in the mystery box. And then these are Wet n Wild, and they just happen to fit in there, so that's where they went. Um, this is sand from when I went to California. Um, my husband collects rocks, so little rock that he gave me. Uh, seashells from South Carolina, because that's where my aunt lives, and she sent them to us. Um, a candle I made because I do make candles or I used to in my spare time so it just sits back there for a little decoration I'll probably move it because I actually don't like it there I'd like to put shelves along the back wall contacts, earrings, <laughs> extra lashes it looks like I'm growing a caterpillar back there all my contours and bronzers go in this one except for the two Jeffree Stars that do not fit in the highlighting section this is all my highlighters. I, I should find a different way to host them just because this very back one has all my blushes in it. And then all my setting powders. And that's all that's in the top drawer. And the second drawer has mascaras, eyebrow products, in the very back so I'm not tempted to use them all the time, are new contacts because I will go through them like water if I see them there and I forget you know, how little I have, I'll just run through them eyelashes that haven't been used. Eyelashes that I was trying to save, but they're completely straight. I don't I don't know how I end up with eyelashes that don't want to curl, but eyelash glue. The worst tweezers on the planet. Tape for when I'm doing a certain look with my eyes. All of my Stila glitters or Stila eyeshadows, chapstick, single shadows, and that is all for the second drawer. The third drawer is um, a mixture of things. It's more lipstick or lip products that did not fit up there. They just there wasn't any room. Again, not to script this bottom drawer. There's just a mixture of lip products that didn't fit. Again, I don't discriminate towards anything. So, like, I have Wish up here, and I have Anastasia and Melt Cosmetics down here. And there's no rhyme or reason to why anything's the way it is. I actually prefer um, my Wish products or um, my Jeffree Star to some of the other ones that are in here, hence why they might be out, but also those ones are shorter so they look more aesthetically pleasing with the other lipsticks up there, as these are super tall and, I don't know, it would throw it off and look weird to me, so those ones get put out. This is from the Dollar Tree, and as you can see, it, it sits right on top my favorite moisturizer right now. It is so good. It makes my skin feel so soft and it smells amazing. Um, extra camera pieces. This came with my ring light but it doesn't uh, fit my phone so it sits in there. Um, a little button to stop and start my camera which I don't use. Um, camera caps. 
extra beauty blender, which I haven't used because I'm doing someone's makeup for prom and I'd like to use a fresh one on her. Actually, the only time it's ever been used is on her. Um, extra lens cleaners and this little Polaroid printer, which I actually really love. Um, I've used it several times to print off pictures, so it just sits right in there where my daughter won't reach it. Um, just a little spongy thing that came with the blush I don't use. And then my extra uh, SD cards. I don't buy big ones because my daughter tends to get into stuff and if I lose one that's worth like 10 bucks, no big deal. If I lose one that I spent $100 on, I might cry. So, um, it's better to be safe than sorry. I'd rather have 20 of them that cost $10 a piece than three of them that cost $100 a piece and lose one of the three that cost $100 a piece. So, that is it for my bottom drawer on there. These are all of my foundations. They're not in any particular order. Um, nothing gets any special place or area, designated area for it. Um, the only foundation that's not in here that I have bought in like the last three years is the uh, Smashbox Photo Finish. And that's because I only had like one or two more uses out of it. Now let my sister take it to try it out. She's definitely a different color than me. But, you know, you can test out a wear without it really matching. Um, this is the Too Faced Born This Way sample that I got forever ago, and then I end up purchasing. <laughs> um, this is the Fenty Beauty My Sister Let Me Try. The Clinique Beyond Perfection. Just all my foundations. Nothing's in a special spot. Um, these are all of my primers. This is the chafing cream that I only use on special occasions. When I went to my friend's wedding the other day, I actually used some of it. Um, but again, it's not an everyday use primer. It's just whenever I have something super special going on. Um, the Hangover primer, which I actually really like. Um, I just ran out. This one, which I've... The e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've hit pan on. And I'm still going to use until I have nothing left. I actually really like that one. This one I used all the way up, or almost all the way up, but I didn't really... I couldn't really tell a huge difference in it. I just continued to use it. Um, my mirrors and, like, things that I use to... Um, put my foundation on so I can pick it up on my sponge. Um, this is a little jewelry box that uh, my cousin made me for Christmas and it just holds beauty blenders or beauty sponges and then it sits like that in there and then these are just extra containers that don't really have anything in them but hopefully they will soon or in the future. And then this down here is like masks, makeup remover, tissues, makeup removers. They're not my favorite. Um, I'm another makeup eraser for when the other one runs out. So far the best makeup remover besides my makeup eraser that I've ever had and I ran out. I got I got this from um, Influencer actually and I actually really liked this. It was uh, it was nice. I enjoyed this very much. I don't know why it took me so long to use it but I enjoyed it. Again, um, makeup removers, makeup wipes, uh, facial masks that I haven't used yet, face wash, and my Ipsy bag. These are all samples of makeup products that I have gotten that I just have not 
used yet, like all sorts of makeup samples that I have not used. That I either got free or in an Ipsy or something, and I just haven't, I just haven't used yet. So they they all go in there, so I can find them fairly easy. Um, Walmart face masks, which I actually really enjoy. I don't know if they actually do anything, but they feel nice, and you know, just a relaxing night at home these things are actually really great to just pamper yourself um more tissues and snacks i love snacks and actually when i clean the when i finish these up i'll probably use this for something else um these are pumpkin spice and they smell amazing and they taste amazing and then behind that i just have a waxer behind this tub that I'm not going to pull out because I'll never get it underneath these drawers again. That is that side. Then I have this mirror. Um, actually, both mirrors. This mirror I got out of the garbage, and this mirror I got out of the garbage. This desk was given to me by one of my husband's friends, and it had this really pretty uh, border on the top, and I had him rip it off so I could fit extra storage in here because um the lip came down too far and I couldn't I couldn't fit anything in there so it actually looked a lot better before I got a hold of it but a mirror out of the garbage that uh went to a dresser someone took the dresser out of the garbage but not the mirror and I don't I don't understand why <laughs> but um necklaces that either my mom or someone has given to me I I have a teething necklace so I can wear it and my son can chew on it without, you know, ruining my uh, stuff. And then I have this desk that I actually use to film. I like it because then I can just set the products that I want to use out without, um, like, getting overwhelmed or having more than I need out at a time. So it is really nice to have. Um, of course, this is covered in tinfoil because the light reflects off your face, which is really nice. I know it probably looks strange to some people, but I, instead of buying some kind of like nice reflector to put down, I just use tinfoil. Picture of my friends over here on the mirror. She's the one who got married this weekend. This is all of us in New York. It's my best friend, Sabra. My friend Raven, me, and Sage. This was actually my great grandma's desk and I was going to use this as my vanity but then my makeup collection um, was a little bit too much so uh, it, it's just what I use to film and I like having it here. Um, it's nice having my grandma's um, you know, furniture and having a piece of her with me. Um, I think she would have gotten a kick out of it being for makeup just because she was that way. My makeup eraser, which clearly needs to be washed, but, you know, just shows I use it. And that is it. That is my whole makeup station. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.